it is holiday party season and I figured we should do a new holiday look. Um, I'm thinking very gold, very shimmery, uh, inspired by my new love affair with highlighter products that are like putting liquid gold all over my face. So we're gonna do that. Um, and it's gonna be kind of like a neutral look, which you know, you hear liquid gold and shimmer and you don't normally think neutral, but it's neutral. So you'll pull it off and it will look great. Um, okay, first thing you're gonna do is your skincare, which I've already done. And I put a primer on, so my skin is ready to go. We'll start there. Um, I want a foundation look that's gonna last because I'm not gonna have time to touch it up over the course of the rest of the day. I don't know about you guys, I feel like this particular holiday season has been all sorts of crazy and insane. Like every single day, there's at least six hours missing. I need six more hours in every single one. Um, this is Sienna Vanish from Hourglass. And actually, if you were a viewer of The Good Dish, you can see there's this crazy tape down the side, which is why you can't see their label, because it was on set with me. <laughs> and you're not allowed to show labels on set, but now you know. You were there, and now you know. Um, and I'm also going to put on uh, some of my Nude Illusion from Wonder Beauty. This is the color Light Medium, which I find just like brightens up little spots very nicely and then sometimes I want a little bit of a darker color underneath yes okay good um this is the Chantecaille uh future skin in the color Shea and it's a bit of like a richer more yellow tone than my actual skin tone but once everything blends together it's it's real nice wet sponge just so it doesn't absorb too much of your product and so it creates a really beautiful blurred effect on the skin um yes the three different kinds of foundation <laughs> this may seem excessive and is definitely not necessary like i said i need this la this look to last a very long time and this is what television training will do to you it's like put more on put all the foundation on and then powder it and then it'll just be there um, but if you don't feel the need to do that and honestly i really <laughs> don't need this level of coverage you can do just one um one color that's a shade this is a tricky thing you kind of want to pick one color that's a shade brighter to start with and that's really going to highlight uh, under your eyes and these two pockets these sort of like hollows of your face so brighten those up bring light there revive them a little bit here at the center of your face and a little bit at the nose and put the little highlight part there and then take a shade like very slightly darker than your natural skin tone and put that here and here at the side of your face and you kind of have a bit of a natural contour already going without having to try very hard at all. I kind of just bring whatever is still on my sponge over the eyelids to create that nice little neutralizing base for our eyeshadow. And guys, the A number one key to beautiful makeup is blending. So take a minute and just kind of fluff the edges of your makeup into the rest of your skin so that everything looks seamless. When you step back, there shouldn't be like a big gradient between the color of your face and the color of the rest of your body, especially not during the holidays when you might be wearing a little something revealing or not. Maybe you're in a turtleneck and you're staying warm. So anyway, Whatever. Okay, blend it on. Then let's go for some eyeshadow. The color is vanilla that we will be using. And you'll see, I love how like, there's a slightly yellow tint to this color and it kind of, it neutralizes any blue tones, any darkness as a result, but it also really just like brightens the whole eye area up. So I like this a lot as a base. And I'm going back to the foundation conversation for a second because there are plenty of days where I just wear a tinted SPF um, as like my, my foundation. I've, I've been using this. This is the True Botanicals Everyday Skin Tint Broad Spectrum Sunscreen SPF 30 in the, in the color six. Um, and I'll just sweep that over my face and it's a really nice just like um, evening skin boosting look and I love that. 
And then there are some days like today where I really just do it all up. And that is the beauty of makeup. You can change your mind every single day and continue to play and never get bored. I love that. So I have a question now, which is whether to go for the bronze or the gold. Am I feeling bronzy? Am I feeling gold? What do you say? I say gold. Gold is the choice. Again, wait till you see when I put on the liquid skin gold and turn into, well, not the Tin Man, but you know, the gold woman. And I kind of love that this is like a wash. We're not really focusing the gold on a particular part of the eye. I'm just sort of creating a nice bright shimmery experience and then I will go in with this color which is called unmatched it's kind of a warm tan you can definitely use your um, bronzer for this experience and I'm just placing that right in the deepest part of the eye socket to create that dimension back which we sort of neutralized with the foundation and then the all over color wash with the gold and the creamy base And look, and then I kind of like extra focus it on this sort of upper corner. You're kind of lifting that uppermost edge of your eye up to help us get a very naturally snatched little lifted part right there. So like go to like go to the outermost point on the diagonal from your eye, the part that would theoretically lift up into your eyebrow, start there and then start wiggling. I know we sometimes do these like color by numbers <laughs> tutorials, but I find them very valuable. If I don't know where I'm aiming, I obviously am not gonna get there. So you tell me if it's helpful to have. Okay, next step, eyeliner, our favorite. So this is the uh, CoverGirl 24 Hour Exhibitionist dark brown pencil that I basically always use for my eyeliner. Um, and you guys know the drill, I kind of, Start at the uppermost part of my eye, or I should say the widest part of my eye, and I start the line there and then ever so slightly start to build it wider and wider as it gets to the outer corner of my eye. And if, especially if you're just beginning and you want to start building the line without like making a huge commitment, you feel like you can't walk back, do little hash marks little hash, 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 kind of like it's pointillism. You're doing little pokes, little tiny pokes and hashes to build the dimension of the line. And then once you get to the outer edge, that's when you kind of flick it up. And I will tell you my only complaint with this formula, because I love it, it's, it's waxy and it's hydrating and it's easy to blend and it stays once it's set. So love the formula, but my only issue is it's so soft, which is part of what makes it really blendable and great that it makes it very hard to make the outer edge defined. So what we do is we take a thin, very thin, can you see how thin that is? Angled brush and gently brush it over our color. And then we take the brush and use it to make the refined edge of the line. Remember little dashes and little points until you have the shape that you like, then you just sort of fill it in. You can always blend a little bit if you just want more of a shadow of a line, not a really harsh, precise line. And you'll play with, on your skin, if you pull it this way or this way, one direction will be a little bit smoother. Um, so just play around, because you don't want a dragged line, you want really smooth, pull and then again depositing a little color on our bristles okay do they look even yeah they look pretty good okay um once the line is totally set and you are happy with its shape then you go in with your dark brown powder this is mac give a glam and we have started to see the bottom. There's something so oddly gratifying about like really using things to the bitter end. 
um, and looking forward to replenishing. And here at the edge, like you can do a very precise with a liquid liner, very serious finishing outer line, but um, sometimes I like, I like just the whisper of it. I like to blend it and blur it a little bit. So obviously the intention is for that really lifted, beautiful extended cat eye, but it's, it, it's not that it looks natural, but it looks more natural. <laughs> okay. 